The Big Rave is all about the full frame sensor, but why is it not as useful as you might think? Let's look at why the crop sensor is the way to go. With the 5D camera sporting the full frame sensor and video pros jumping on the image quality it provided, the full frame sensor has been the sought after look everyone has wanted. I think full frame is fantastic and goes to the roots of photography, but I don't think it is as needed for all of us video pros as one might think. Let's look at the way 35 millimeter film was used back in the day, which is actually still today. Film runs through the camera vertically. It passes through the gate, is exposed and advanced into the take up portion of the magazine. There are three perf and four perf options and so on and so forth, but let's not get into that for now. What I want to focus on is how a frame is laid out on a piece of film. For a 235 to 1 aspect ratio, or even as big as a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, the frame can only be so big before it goes off the side of the negative or exposes on the perfs. This is considered a super 35 millimeter frame. On still camera, the film would run through the gate horizontally. So looking at the gate on a still camera, you usually have a different aspect ratio. Think five by seven or something similar. The film now has almost double the space to expose the image. Back to what most of us are familiar with. APS-C or crop sensor cameras are considered super 35 millimeter equivalent. It may not be exact, but it is the closest in the digital realm. Full frame is closer to the way a still camera exposes an image with the film rolling through the camera horizontally. It is probably closer to the frame size of 70 millimeter IMAX. According to Wikipedia, only 46 American movies were shot on 65 or 70 millimeter, and I believe only nine of them were in CinemaScope. Topic for another discussion. So most likely the movies that you really love and are trying to emulate on your full frame cameras were shot with an image ratio size much closer to the APS-C or crop sensor camera. I hope that puts a much higher value on your low end DSLR camera. Those Canon Rebel cameras don't look so amateurish now, do they? So what about these high end digital cameras you say? Canon C100, super 35 millimeter CMOS sensor. Canon C300, super 35 millimeter CMOS sensor. Canon C500, super 35 millimeter size CMOS sensor. Red, super 35 millimeter with an additional coverage for full frame lenses. Arri Alexa, 35 format, a leave three CMOS sensor, something like that. Hope that helps. Just know that your crop sensor lens may not provide full coverage for your full frame camera and your full frame lens will be roughly 1.5 times the focal length. I want to know who uses crop sensor cameras and how many are on full frame cameras. Let me know in the comments below. Like and share this video and if you know someone who could benefit from the information I shared, then send it their way. Subscribe by clicking somewhere here on the screen and if you want to see what equipment I use then check out the link on the screen and in the description box below. The sun rises and the sun sets and then it goes back to where it started. Just saying.